Patients with Parkinson's disease and motor symptoms might benefit from focused ultrasound ablation of the internal segment of the globus pallidus, but data have been limited to small open-label studies. Now, a randomized sham control trial has examined the efficacy and safety of this approach in patients with medication-refractory Parkinson's disease. In this multicenter prospective double-blind randomized trial, 94 patients with dyskinesias or motor impairment while on levodopa were assigned in a 3 to 1 ratio to undergo either focused ultrasound ablation of the globus pallidus internus or a sham procedure, delivered contralateral to the side with greater motor impairment. The primary outcome was a response opposite the treated side, defined as at least a three-point improvement on either a motor impairment scale or a dyskinesia scale at three months. Overall, the percentage of patients with a response at three months was more than twice as high in the ultrasound ablation group as in the sham group, at 69% as compared with 32%. 39 patients who had a response to ultrasound ablation were evaluated at 12 months. Of these, three-fourths maintained their treatment response. Pallidotomy-related adverse events at three months were uncommon, but included dysarthria, visual disturbance, and mild facial weakness. The authors conclude that in patients with medication-refractory Parkinson's disease, focused ultrasound ablation of the globus pallidus internus was more likely to improve motor symptoms at three months than a sham procedure. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.